Well, welcome back, fellow YouTubers, toy and toy train buffs, to another installment here on the Milwaukee Northwestern. And before I begin, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. And thank you to all my current subscribers for having uh, stuck with me. And uh, putting up with my antics here. Now, the past month and a half, I guess, it's been about six weeks, I, I suppose, uh, you know I've been working on the, the Halloween setup, which I, I try to do every year. I don't always get around to it, but you know, I, I've been trying to do a Halloween setup using uh, uh, paper buildings that I built mostly, a couple vintage paper buildings, and just things that I bought online. Uh, I haven't done anything since the last video to sustain the Halloween uh, motif other than to buy this Safari Limited Ghost Dragon. All right, now Safari Limited has a really cool line of dragons. And by the way, dragons is another thing that I collect. He's just one of many out here. Oh, I just dropped something. I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. Okay, annoying, I know, but I just dropped it and... Okay, got it. So, uh, just one of my toy collections. And, uh, and so that's all I did with the, with the Halloween motif. I did get out here and do a couple things in regards to the layout itself. Things that needed to get done, uh, and, but not a lot. Now, you see the viaduct in the back there? I cut it down. It was, uh, I, I cut down, what did I do, 50, it is now 52 and a half inches with the new tunnel portal added on this end. And I ended up cutting off about 30 inches. Why? Because <clears throat> that far side over there is actually going to be a hill. It'll be butting up against a plateau and then the trains will come out uh, there will be just as you see the street there somewhere in that area there's going to be a grade crossing and so there's got to be a, a, a breaking point as it were to that viaduct structure all right and then if you'll notice you see all these Oh, before I forget, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, that's because I just got this in today. Just a few minutes ago, actually. What I'm going to do with this is going to have to get cut down, but this is going to go inside the far end of the viaduct. Okay, I wanted a, uh, uh, as it butts up against the, the plateau, I wanted to have a more of a poured concrete look to it so okay uh i guess that's a project for another time cutting it down installing it and whatnot but then okay let's go back to these things right here before i started putting together the layout and i was buying track i had bought a job lot of menards standard old track not from menards but from a private seller and with that sale came about a hundred and fifty of these ties and I thought well, what would they look like if I put those under the track and you know what I like the look uh, the Menards track has brown metal ties I mean I'm sorry black metal ties and these are brown and that's okay this is still a small layout it's bigger than my edge of town, which is a micro layout. This is sort of a uh, kind of a standard size small layout, if you will, uh, being about, uh, oh, what is it now? Four and a half feet by nine foot 11. Uh, about 30 inches or 34 inches of that uh, is gonna be buried underneath a plateau. So the, the visible area is gonna be smaller uh, so anyway 
yeah, that's it. And I like these. They're they're just sitting loose in there. Okay, I can move them. But if you add ballast and whatnot, I think it'll look good. It ties into ties good. <laughs> <laughs> like that play on words it ties into my uh, my thoughts that the more detail you put on a small layout uh, the, the more the more betterer it is <laughs> uh, there's a there's good English for you but it, but you know what I mean when you have a small layout your eyes are drawn to all the details that are on it including things like track and uh, it takes the eyes longer to to just uh, uh, take it all in so that's that's my thoughts by doing this to the uh, the track I, I think I'll improve some of the realism I'm not going to have any of these ties underneath the viaduct I'm going to make it such that that looks like concrete under there so the ties won't be visible so I can save my ties uh, I've ordered some more. I've got about 50 left, which will cover the rest of that curve over there, and pardon me, and uh, and probably some of this. But I've I've ordered some more. Anyway, that's it. Not a whole lot happening, but there you have it. All right. So this is going to be our last running session of the Halloween theme train, and. Uh, and then I'm going to start getting ready for the uh, yeah for the next series of videos, which will be uh, for Veterans Day. So I've I got a little something special I hope uh, planned for that, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's get this show on the road. Let's see if this New Haven concert will make it through this uh, this reverse loop without a lot of grief. I love it when a plan comes together. Plan? Did I have a plan?
right, let's bring her on home. folks and that's it the last Halloween running session for this year I hope you've enjoyed the Halloween themed layout and the trains I got this year and enjoyed the running sessions and the small but quite noticeable changes to the layout itself and until next time, again, thank you to all my subscribers, new subscribers and existing ones. And until next time, tschüss, adieu, auf Wiedersehen, bye all.